Steven Yeun has a commanding presence on screen, especially if you recently watched Jordan Peele's No. He can play a laid-back hipster, a lone wolf, and a hilarious animal rights activist, all while making it look effortless. Right now, we're psyched for Beef, one of his most anticipated projects this year. So while we're waiting, why not look at 10 of his best roles yet? And let's mix it up by ranking them according to IMDb, starting with number 10, The Humans. Don't let its modest 6.2 on IMDb fool you, because The Humans is a gorgeous psychological drama with layers of depth. The director, Stephen Karam, adapted the story from his own one-act play of the same name. And believe us, Yun kills it. It follows Bridget Blake's dysfunctional family, who visit her and her partner's new apartment. Tensions run high when her dad, Eric, starts pointing at the potential health risks of living in a rundown part of New York City. The movie's definitely creepy and depicts an authentic breakdown of the humans within a single evening. Even though it's creepy, it's not a ghost story. The character are instead haunted by things that haunt us all. Failing health, financial issues, and relationship trouble. Plus, the movie goes meta when a character says, she keeps seeing ads for that zombie show, implying that she's probably seen Yun in The Walking Dead. But what makes The Humans a great watch isn't because Yun kills it in his role as Richard, but because of how human it is. The 6.2 is probably because it's a slow burn that unfolds each layer slowly. It's a movie you either hate or genuinely love. At number 9, we have My Name is Jerry. Coming in at a 6.3, this independent comedy drama was one of Yun's first ever gigs in Hollywood, and as a result, it's gained a cult following among his fans. My Name is Jerry follows a middle-aged door-to-door sales guy named Jerry. He's going through a full-blown midlife crisis, but thankfully he's got young friends and the power of punk rock to keep him going. Young plays Chaz, one of Jerry's young friends and a record store employee. Chaz is also a musician and an all-around party guy, but wholesome in his own awkward way. Now, even though it's a supporting role, it's definitely one of Young's more comedic roles that you don't want to miss. Up next is number 8, Mayhem. For for those who love Yoon's role in The Walking Dead, Mayhem will offer more of the zombie genre, except it's more action comedy. It's got a different take on the whole infectious disease subgenre. Instead of people becoming mindless zombies who want to eat your face, the red-eye virus in Mayhem forces you to act on your darkest, most violent impulses, including murder. Yoon stars as Derek Cho, a young lawyer who gets quarantined in his office tower. Currently, the movie's got a 6.4 on IMDb, which isn't bad for an action comedy. A lot a lot of users love the movie and the chemistry between Yun and his co-star Samara Weaving. As Derek, Yun's really likable and has brilliant comedic timing. But the only complaint people had is that the movie's not mayhemy enough and that the actor deserved a better screenplay for his talent. We agree. For number seven, we have Sorry to Bother You. Written and directed by Boots Riley, Sorry to Bother You is a scathingly original concept. Lakeith Stanfield stars as Cassius Green, a down-on-his-luck telemarketer who adopts a white voice to chat with customers. He gets swept into the nasty world of corporate capitalism, whilst also trying to help his activist friends organize a union. Yun takes a supporting role alongside Stanfield, playing a union organizer called Squeeze. While the movie's decidedly a surrealist black comedy, the 6.9 it has on IMDb is likely because of how divided fans are on its bizarre nature. But it's got a 93% on Rotten Tomatoes, so we think it balances everything out. Next is number 6, I Origin. This movie got a pretty intriguing concept that might work for some, but doesn't work for others. Although it only has a less than modest 52% on Rotten Tomatoes, users on IMDb scored it at a very respectable 7.3. In yet another supporting role, Yun stars as Kenny, who starts out as PhD student Ian Gray's research partner. The pair studied the evolution of the eye, which starts a romantic drama that quickly turns into a mystery thriller. Despite playing a minor supporting role, it's really important that you understand understand each individual character to get the best sci-fi concept of the movie. Eye Origins boasts solid performances by the cast, along with a genuinely moving story if you stick with it to the end. At number 5, we have Okja. Before the universally acclaimed Parasite, Bong Joon-ho directed Okja, a movie that's essentially pro-animal liberation. The story follows a young girl who raises a genetically modified super pig. After the super pig called Okja is taken to the US, the girl goes on a mission to 
save her from the meat industry. It's a treat to watch if you love Tilda Swinton and Paul Dano, but even more if you're a Steven Yun fan. In fact, Bong wrote Yun's part as an animal rights activist specifically for him. In a Vulture interview, he revealed that only Yun, who's a Korean-American, could play the role of K, because if you had a native Korean who spoke English, the comedy wouldn't work. And if it was a Korean-American who didn't understand Korean, it wouldn't have worked either. Plus, Yun nailed his role as someone who desperately wants to be liked by everyone and will do whatever he can to make it happen. The movie's worth a watch either way, but Yun makes it that much better. Up next is number four, Minari. Just like the humans, Minari 7.4 on IMDb doesn't tell you the full story. Based partially on director Lee Isaac Chung's childhood, Minari follows a South Korean family who migrates to rural America in the 1980s. More particularly, it's the story of Yun's character, Jacob Yi, a farmer whose ultimate goal is to achieve the American dream. His sky-high ambitions constantly put a strain on his relationships and drive the plot forward. If you're not a Steven Yun fan yet, Minari will make you fall in love with him. It's this role that earned him a nomination for Best Actor at the 2020 Academy Awards, becoming the first Asian American actor to receive that honor. Coming up is number three, Nope. Despite having a 7.4 on IMDb, Nope is one of Jordan Peele's most creative projects yet. While fans might prefer Us and Get Out because they focus on horror, Nope takes a more sci-fi approach. Yoon plays Ricky Park, or Jupe, a former child actor and owner of a theme park called Jupiter's Claim. His character has a rather overinflated sense of purpose, stemming from a traumatic childhood event. We won't tell you what the event was if you haven't watched the movie, but it involves a rogue monkey and a lot of gore. And like any role he takes on, Yoon portrays Jupe's arrogance with finesse. Even though Nope wasn't as well received as Peel's previous releases, it's still one of his greatest achievements yet, featuring genuinely creepy UFO moments, gorgeous cinematography, and relatable characters. At second place, it's Burning. Coming in at a healthy 7.5 IMDb and a 95% fresh on Rotten, Burning is one of director Lee Chang Dong's best works. It's a psychological thriller that leaves you with more burning questions than answers. It's a genuine character study that hits you with a shocking twist when you least expect it, and that's what makes the movie so genuinely good. Yu Ah In plays the protagonist, Lee Jung Su, who reunites with a childhood friend and then meets the mysterious guy named Ben, played by Yun. Ben confesses to committing arson in his spare time, burning down greenhouses apparently for fun. You might think that a movie leaving you with more questions than answers might be a bad thing, but it's quite the opposite for burning, which makes you want to hop on a Reddit thread and read fan theories about what happened and why. Finally, number one, The Walking Dead. It's no surprise that the post-apocalyptic horror series ranks number one on this list, considering it's a universally loved TV show. Now, we know you'll point out Invincible as Yoon's highest-ranked project, since it has an 8.7 versus Walking Dead's 8.1. But for this list, we picked live-action roles and didn't consider his animated projects. Anyway, if you're considering starting a new series and haven't watched The Walking Dead, then look no further. Yoon plays a young pizza delivery boy named Glenn Ree, who's forced into survival mode by a zombie outbreak. The role put the actor on Hollywood's map and made him the talk of the town. It also garnered him significant critical acclaim, with many praising the character for breaking the on-screen stereotypes associated with Asian American men. Rolling Stone's Noel Murray ranked Glenn sixth on his list of the top 30 best Walking Dead characters, but we'd put him in our top five. As Glenn, Yoon's an absolute sweetheart, and his relationship with Maggie is one of the best we've seen on the show. And that's all for today, folks. Thanks for watching.